Panhard has had a long-running, storied history for the nation of France, providing products for a range of industries including civilian, commercial, and military. During the Cold War period, 1947 to 1991, the company excelled at development and production of light-armored, wheeled combat vehicles for the French military and a plethora of foreign customers and one product of the period became the Panhard VCR, vehicule de combat à roues. This six-wheeled vehicle was developed as a private venture primarily with the export market in mind, made to be budget-conscious, as such based in the existing Panhard ECR 6x6 vehicle, for the most discerning of buyers. The end result became an amphibious capable, 6x6 wheeled offering able to undertake several battlefield roles. The VCR remains in limited service with a few select global operators, and has seen combat as recently as the Iraqi Civil War of 2014-2017, under the flag of the rebuilding Iraqi army. The complete system is a 7.9 ton vehicle measuring 4.8 meters long with a beam of 2.5 meters and a height up to 2.13 meters. Internally, the vehicle is crewed by up to three personnel and can carry up to nine combat-ready infantrymen under light armor protection, up to 12 mm, suitable against small arms fire and artillery spray. Night vision NV, equipment is supported as is an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, suite. The VCR is driven by a Peugeot PRVV, six diesel-fueled engine developing 145 horsepower to a conventional 6x6-wheeled arrangement. The inner axle can be raised from the road as needed. Tires are of the run-flat variety giving the crew an additional survival capability. It is further suspended across all of the road wheels allowing for some cross-country travelability. Operational range reaches out to 700 km while road speeds maximize at 90 km per hour. Typically, the armament fit is modest, revolving around a trainable, roof-mounted 12. 7mm heavy machine gun HMG, for anti-infantry anti-aircraft AA use. Additionally, the vehicle can sport the hot French anti-tank guided missile ATGM to provide for a ranged tank killing, armor-defeating capability. This is in addition to any personal weapons carried by the crew or occupants. Optional weapons marketed, at one time, for the VCR line included a complete turreted 20mm automatic cannon, Milan ATGM support, and a 60mm field mortar for indirect fire support. Debuting in 1977, the VCR undertook production in 1979 and eventually found a limited market with operators in Argentina, Iraq, Mexico, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. The UAE became the largest operator of the series with some 82 trucks taken into service. Beyond this were 46 vehicles purchased by the Mexican government and 44 operated by the rebuilding Iraqi army. Another 24 of the type went to the Argentine army. Variants in the line have included the VCR-80, which was developed for the dedicated armored recovery vehicle, ARV, role completed with heavy-duty crane and tow bar. There was also the VCR-IS to serve as a battlefield ambulance and the VCR-APC outfitted for the command post. CP, roll. The VCRTH was equipped with the Euromissile UTM, 800 series turret supporting 4X hot ATGMs and a 7.62mm GIAT mascot, remotely controlled gun station, the latter at the rear. The VCRTT Hydrojet became a localized 4x4 wheeled Argentine Army model modified for amphibious operations. Changes to the design included removal of the inner axle to support water jets for waterborne travel, other VCR forms, while amphibious by design, rely solely on the rotation of the road wheels for propulsion. The base VCR design form was further prototyped in an airspace denial weapon system model under the VCR AA designation, this entry fielding Saab RBS 70 surface to air missiles, SAMs. It was not furthered. The VCR remains in limited service as of this writing, 2019.